Someone Bigger by Jonathan Emmett, illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. Hey friends, if I say that the book is by Jonathan Emmett, what does that mean? If you said author, you're right. What about if the book is illustrated by Adrian Reynolds? What does that mean he did? If you said that he drew the pictures, you are correct. Thank you for sharing. Sam and dad had made a kite. They'd made it large. They made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight, while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. All friends, are you, as you're listening to the story, do you hear some rhyming words like high and, and sky? Keep paying attention. I am hearing lots of words. And when you hear them, you can tell someone next to you what they are. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail, a bank robber escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse, a bridegroom and his bride, of course but all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, Sam? I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Oh, poor Sam. And then by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the fireman saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight, but all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam? I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. The kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. And other creatures from the zoo a tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam? I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. The kite needs someone bigger. But then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one, they came back down, everyone from zoo and town, rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom too. Postman, policeman, robber, horse, and last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I know I was. I'm not too small, and as you see, this kite just needs someone just like me. Now we read the story. There's something for you to think about. Was this story fiction or nonfiction? Think about all of the conversations we've had in class on what is fiction and what is nonfiction. Fiction, okay? Fiction or nonfiction, when you do your assignment this week, I'm going to ask you this question again, and we're going to see if you were right. Is it fiction or nonfiction? Thanks for listening.